Hey everybody, welcome to a special guest edition of the Disc Only Podcast. Welcome to the Disc Only Podcast, a podcast that normally only has four people and Dan here, but now everything's all out of whack and I had to reorganize everything and it's just, God, I'm just done for the day. I'm Proton John. I'm Tom Fox, and a couple of weeks ago, I snuck into Stephen George's house. And a couple of weeks ago, eh? A couple of weeks ago there, <laughs> Ah, yeah. a couple of weeks ago there, bud. <laughs> oh, yeah. A couple of weeks. Oh, golly, a couple of weeks ago, I snuck into Stephen George's house. We've gone through like three accents at this point now, laddie. It's okay. Uh, what? I'm Stephen George, and a couple of weeks ago, Tom Fox snuck into my house. <laughs> and I'm Jared, and I have the honor of holding up our special guest right over top of my head. I love that. Uh... He's lifting me with my mind. Help. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I'm very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very powerful. Does. It improves your mental acuity. Oh Help. God. I thought it was just all the hair gel, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I actually, so I don't even wear hair gel anymore. Like, it's been a long time. My hair's just naturally spiky now. We're, we're going to get all these avatars updated at some point. I'm sure there's going to be, like, at the end of the year, we're going to look completely different somehow. <laughs> Would Steam you like will to, just look the same. Would you like to introduce yourself, sir? Or are we just going to keep pretending we don't know who you are and just messing around the entire who time? Who is this person? What's happening? Where's my grandson? <laughs> who is this person? Who is this man? This is Alex. Ro is it Roshan? Is that how you say it? Yeah, it's Roshan. Alex Roshan. Some of you may know him currently for his current role as Kane in The Amazing Digital Circus. Uh, but Alex has been around for quite a while and we bumped into each other multiple times and it was bugging me because I couldn't remember where. So we discussed that before the podcast started. I'm like, where do we meet? I know your voice. Where, where do, do we meet? I know you from? <laughs> Good God. I'm that, I'm that distinctive even when I'm just a face in a crowd. Okay. <laughs> it might right. be because your voice carries very well, sir. And those tend to stand yeah. out. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're, you, got a, you, got, you got a good voice. Your you. Spamton videos were some of the funniest freaking things I've watched in the in recent memory. Like that crap is just so freaking good. The, the, when face was it Facebook that went down? The W did of that joke was oh so good. <laughs> Since now you I'm, fuckers, de I'm deleting the internet. <laughs> The video oh, man. is completely demonetized on YouTube, but it is so fucking worth it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. Although, like, my claim, like, my, the thing I'm absolutely proudest of is the uh, Big Bill Hells parody I did as Spamton. Keeping the thumbnail, just Spamton's face with, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, Chad yeah, Chet seems to be really going wild over that one. Frick like, you, Cyber City. Oh, God. Like, I mean, hey, if I'm going to be demonetized for something because I'm swearing a whole lot, I mean, why not go the extra mile? <laughs> yeah. Might as well, well make it funny. Thumbnail. It show, it, sh it definitely shows what you're getting into on that one, like, for sure. <laughs> you see that thumbnail, it's like, oh, <laughs> well, all right. You know, it is what it's what's on the tin. You know, bravo for not caring about the algorithm at all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I tried years and years ago to do YouTube stuff as, like, a, uh, I don't know if you can call it career, but, like, I used to make top ten videos. People in the chat seem to remember that. I don't know if anyone here... <laughs> is familiar at all but i used to do like top 10 videos about video games and stuff um when i was really young i'm not exactly the happiest with how most of them turned out but people oh so you are a real content creator then yeah. okay congratulations <laughs> here's the difference though oh, he, got, oh, he got out oh man. <laughs> shit you're right he was the That's... smart one <laughs> yeah i was just like i think at a certain point i was just like you know what youtube i'm not really like liking how things are changing i want to move on to bigger and better things so i was just like i'm gonna make one final countdown that's intended to be my last one just throw it out there be like see ya and yeah and then you but... escaped <laughs> and like... now i do voiceover just because it's fun and like you occasionally post stuff, but it's not like trying to make a career out of it. It's just like it's just a, like a fun thing. Like you like to share, exactly. share some stuff. Yeah. 
the uh I, I will say loved the video you put out recently of uh, of uh Kane saying stuff that, uh, that like people responded to your your Twitter with which you were part of which I was a part of yes who needs sleep when you're running on equal parts NyQuil and methamphetamine <laughs> <laughs> Seeing someone in the chat mention Benjamage, who's a fellow uh, content creator. He also makes top tens and reviews. We actually, we've known each other a long time online, but we actually met in person for the first time at Momocon 2017. So just adding more and more layers to the, it's a small world. Hmm. I'll get the cork board. Momocon this year is going to be so lit. I'm so excited. Oh, hey, you guys all going? Uh, I, I am 100%, yes. Hell yes! I'm in the air. I may go, I may not go. I'll keep y'all informed. Okay. I'm waiting to get word How back, we, and uh, if we're doing throne controllers, that's all I'm waiting on. <laughs> How are I you on the podcast do... if you're in the air? <laughs> get down from there. <laughs> no! What are you doing? No! <laughs> I don't we, I'm, I'm Have you never start. bought overpriced airplane Wi-Fi? Oh my god. <laughs> That's something I promised myself I'd never ever do, actually. And I haven't no, done a, it yet. I, I did it. This is very concerning. Please help. <laughs> I did it for the first time on the way back from Mag. That was the biggest mistake. I'm just like, okay, cool. I gotta disconnect every two minutes and then reconnect. And then I get access to Discord for another two minutes and then it disconnects and then I have to reconnect. Uh, on my flight back from Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, at one point, they were like the you know the the little. I didn't buy the Wi-Fi, but like the Wi-Fi light went off, and the and the uh, the crew like someone came on the the ship and was like, uh, "We just need to reset the Wi-Fi. Some of our passengers aren't able to uh, to access it very well." And it never turned on for the rest of the for the flight. <laughs> so if those two people can't have Wi-Fi, nobody can have Wi-Fi. <laughs> Darn right. Oh my God, St Stephen, we need to we need to get you to a convention one. T uh, Soon. Oh, he's done conventions before. He, I, yeah, he I also did. is no again, again, again. I mean, oh, again. No, I mean, like, I, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, well, I listen, told you he was smart and also got out. On the Fair. breakfast stream where I gave him a heart attack, he said that like if he was to go back to a convention, he probably want to go to Magfest. Yeah, Magfest is a great choice. Mm -hmm. It's also physically closer. Close, like, yeah. I can, like I yeah. can walk there. In a car. Okay, maybe you know don't I mean? walk to Magfest. That's a, <laughs> well, walk yeah, that's, there in a car. Listen, that's that's how I got to, from Magfest to Raleigh. Jepson and I walked there in a car. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it all makes sense. Yeah, now. It was smart. I was planning on taking the train, and then Wait Jepson was like, "Hey, I'm going to I'm Alex going to Magfest." Better than anyone that we need Con Bravo back. That is by Vidya, as in Vidya James. <laughs> if, that, if that no 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 i mean like that's his actual username he I, that may or may not be a buddy of mine who i used to attend con bravo with who i know from university oh amazing hey, dude. oh damn no. i believe he's taking part in zeldathon he oh yeah also he also streams dude it really is and a the web of world. red string grows larger <laughs> Pe Pe Pepe Silva. Pe Pepe Silva. Pepe Silva. Oh my god. Sylvia. Alex Rashawn. Alex Rashawn. I get this guy's mail. Alex Rashawn. <laughs> Who the heck is Alex Rashawn? <laughs> Alex Rashawn's oh. a real person and he's not been getting his mail for a month now. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know who he is either. We've already been fired. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad we're all caught up on Sunny, apparently. Yep, we need to look. We need to look deep inside ourselves and figure out: Am I Alex Roshan? <laughs> no, you're Tom. All right, I'm Tom. Yeah, Tom. You God, Tom. If, listen. Like, if, I don't, if I don't say, if I don't say it regularly, I lose myself. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we know you're Tom because you said it probably 150 <laughs> times at uh, at uh, Coliseum. Aren't you Coliseum? Yeah. <laughs> It was just the listen. It was just the bit. It's like the the intro goes off. I gotta introduce myself. I'm Tom. 150 well, intros later, <laughs> dude. That crap was freaking awesome. And that was, was, the, the, <laughs> there was the time that Jules was lying across us. I say I'm Tom, and then give him a raspberry, and the intro goes back <laughs> up. <laughs> and thank God it did. Loved, thank God. I also loved like the bits where sometimes the intro would show up and then. It would cut back and 
maybe there was like a Kirby plush in the middle of the camera just suddenly. Oh yeah. Oh man, the one where we all got off screen in in the time the intro played is one of my favorites. <laughs> it's just yeah, like just dancing Dan. there and he goes, "Hello." And it just plays again. <laughs> it plays the intro again. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody did an edit of that where I, th- I can't remember if it was at the end of the disc only segment or at the end of the Mario one where it's just Dan and he's like he's like passed out over the couch. Where, where, so they 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 cut together the high the intro and then Dan like dead on the couch. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Oh man, that was definitely one of the best uh, segments. I would say. Yeah, at, yes. at the Coliseum. <laughs> that was one you, of my fun, funnest ones. You, Jared, were involved in one of the most chaotic segments, which was nap time. <laughs> you think it wouldn't be based on the name, but... No. Dude, I, I loved nap time, man. I will say that I got to experience the loudest sound effect I've ever heard in my entire life um, whenever Jack turned on his freaking guitar. That... I think that is the loudest sound effect that has ever ran through my ears. <laughs> just Whoa. freaking, oh shit! Burr, just, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it wasn't supposed to be that loud. I know, but dude, I, I still can't believe that I didn't like visibly jump off that couch at that point because, like, <laughs> man, that was so loud. That was incredible. <laughs> dude, you, uh, I wish that I could have seen the workout segment that you did. I wish I could have seen it. I mean, I can't. I could technically go back the, and watch, watch the video, the yeah. But I wish that I could have seen it live happen because the I had to hold back laughing so hard whenever you were like, "What else can I do?" <laughs> <laughs> I was stuck at one point because I was like, "What? What exercises can I do where they could actually see it?" Because at one point I was like, "Let's do some crunches," and I'm just behind the couch doing crunches. Like, <laughs> you can't see me doing you this. Can't but I'm see doing it. Doing a single thing is, and you're still <laughs> clearly doing it. Work, tying yourself out. So oh, funny. Man. Oh, that was so I good. I saw someone comment, let's, let's open up this nap! <laughs> True. Oh, so God. fucking cool. <laughs> Dude, Jewel, Jules and Jack had, like, the funniest concert at MAGFest this year. I'm so sad I had Shred to Venture? miss it. I'm so yeah. sad I had to miss it. I'm going to go watch that video because, like, I got to I got to watch them kind of put that together. Like, I was around at their place whenever they were putting it together. And it looked like the funniest crap ever. Like, oh my god! I should I check that out. <laughs> I love how the wizard. I love how the wizard in Shredventure oh, no. is just Lyle doing his pregame discharge shtick. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Good job, a <Yeah>. holes. <laughs> <laughs> these these crystals need to be charged if they're going to save video games. Video games, <laughs> man. Oh my god, I'm not even a real I'm wizard. not even a video game wizard! I'm just a normal wizard! <laughs> <laughs> no, Everything. he's using the power of Super Mario to cook breakfast! Everything I mean, about that is a awesome. Normal wizard and a video game wizard are the same thing because neither exist. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, wow. dude! Listen, you gotta go talk to uh, Lyle Rath about that, okay? <laughs> yeah. he, he will disagree. <laughs> Or like you know, give me a give me a second to change my VTuber and then talk to me about that. <laughs> look my VTuber dead in the eye and say that wizards don't exist. Your motion tracking's <laughs> drifting, Tom. We can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Wait, it's it's tri- it's drifting. I'll be back in a second. Hold on, guys. Oh, he's got no attention to the man a t behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> he my really God. is just in charge of everything. That's how pets yeah, work. The, Bagels the pets like all are... in my lap right now, just sleeping. I'm amazed Blue's not in here. He he uh <laughs> Blue crashed my um my video game trivia game thing that I did the other day, which was super fun by the way. Um Oh yeah, I I, ca- I, uh, I saw that in my recommended. I pu- I pulled it up. It was that was a lot of fun. Yeah, Tarvold's Quest. Uh I want to give him a shout out really quick cuz oh, Tarvold Oh, right cuz you you're on Tarvold's yeah. thing this time. Yeah, I got to go on with Jules and freaking Terracy music, and it was so much fun. I I just I want to give a massive shout out to Tarvold's Quest. Like, he he does a video game music uh, trivia show, and it is so well put together. He deserves so much more love than he's what he's got. So freaking good. Hey, you should win the season three finals, so maybe you and I can play against each other. 
I am going to try. Trust me. There's nothing I want more than to go up against you in the freaking finals for that. Like, I really want to see because you're probably going to slay me, but <laughs> I'll put up I'll put up a good fight at least. <clears throat> he's not he's not getting away without at least a few wounds. <laughs> no, he's going to frick me up, but I mean, it, I'll do my best. I have the power of song suggestions on my side for my stream. <laughs> I just want to I just want to thank Stephen George for not having a heart attack when I when I walked out of his <laughs> office. <laughs> I mean, I I I think I just had a small one. Yeah. It wasn't enough. I, to I don't know, man, cuz you could see the life leave your body in that moment. <laughs> you true. did you did scream, you did scare Kepler away, and you did have to take off your shirt. Someone in the comments of that video, by the way, mentioned that you're wearing, you were wearing the exact same t-shirt that you were when Thomas broke into your house. That is amazing. Amazing. I love that. <laughs> well, that's just perfect. It's like so, it was meant to be. So just clearly be sure to never wear that shirt again, yeah. and you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, next time you wear that shirt, just be on like on high alert. <laughs> Specifically for people named Tom, Thomas, Tommy, whoever. Yeah, fortunately, I don't know any more Tom adjacent people. Well, it's not going to stop I the think. two you know from breaking in again. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I need to get some surveillance. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, welcome, welcome. You know, like probably like it wouldn't be phrased like this, but welcome to our friend group. What's your name? Oh, Tommy. And then just like the color drains from Steven's face. <laughs> Sorry, you you can't be here. You can't. I cannot know another Tom. <laughs> I'm I'm at my limit. The Tom. I can only limit. know two Toms. Oh man. Alex, you ever committed a break and enter? <laughs> Oh, now we're starting to get into the good stuff. There you go. Allegedly. Oh, allegedly. No, but I I do remember there was a time back in university where a few of my housemates actually broke into a defunct prison and stole a few type typewriters. Whoa, not where I thought this was going. Now I'm allegedly. more invested in this. Uh, alle oh, allegedly. I love his actual crimes. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the crime only podcast. <laughs> Finally, we've become the true crime podcast we've always wanted to be. So, wow, that's... That, so... Allegedly, would would you <laughs> would you have been with them? No. Okay. Smart man. Good Smart answer. Man. Good, answer. Very, answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Very risky verse. <laughs> Survey says. <laughs> Survey. Bing. No. <laughs> Number Bing. one answer. No. <laughs> were they allegedly? Were they nice alleged typewriters? They were very old. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> like allegedly antique old or allegedly like like w within like the past like 30 years old uh, I can't I'm not a typewriter expert <laughs> I can't believe allegedly this. allegedly you're not a typewriter expert Tom you lied no, to I think me. you can take a stance said, on this one Tom no, I think you can actually no, take a stance here that is most definitely not alleged <laughs> cannot, cannot believe this I've been lied to requires annotation <laughs> what what is that called? The community note, whatever the fuck yeah. on, 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 on Twitter. Twitter community notes. <laughs> Alex is not a typewriter expert. Okay, Alex, <laughs> what is the wildest thing that has ever happened in a restaurant that you've oh, been no. in? Oh no! Oh, here we go. Wildest thing that has ever happened to me in a restaurant. Honestly, I have no freaking idea. I. <laughs> Oh jeez! I mean, that's, you ever... that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to a Waffle House? <laughs> well, <'Cause> like, <laughs> I've heard stories about how one time someone went to a Waffle House and there were raisins in their toast. Oh my raisins. god! Oh, that's. I don't know where you heard that that was one time. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was that was the last time you went, unless you went uh, since I've since I've been there. But we went while I was visiting Stephen. We went to Waffle House, and like we're sitting there, and suddenly over the jukebox it starts playing "Raisins in My Toast," and we all turn and look at Dan. Like, 
as soon as it happened, I knew it was Dan. We you are in a Waffle <laughs> House. You We're also in a Waffle told, House at you also told 3 me a.m. Unhinged. <laughs> He also told me something unhinged about Dan that he goes on that jukebox app, picks random locations, and plays random songs on them. That is one of my favorite Dan facts. He doesn't go to the restaurants. He just opens them up and picks the different restaurants through the app and then buys the songs to play there, regardless of who's there. I love oh my that God, it's so much. Incredible. It's Dan, the, you're it's the, the type of man. unhinged energy. He even says in chat, it's my favorite my thing. Life. That, that is so that is the most Chad behavior I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, because I know that he does that when I'm sitting <laughs> in a Waffle House that at three in the morning, there's like nobody in there. The staff doesn't want to be there. And all of a sudden, out of complete <laughs> silence, I hear raisins yeah. in my toast start. I'm like, that, that is Daniel. There is no <laughs> chance that anyone else in this restaurant played that. <laughs> Like, I swivel my head around like a demonic owl oh, and look at the booth behind me, and Dan is just Dan's looking at me, try, like, trying not to laugh. It's great. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Going back to the, the alleged prison thing, someone in the chat something. Oh, my God. Kane, are we allegedly robbing a prison? <laughs> We're adventuring a prison! Brilliant. <laughs> Try and keep up. <laughs> and they could pick the bad time to, to take a drink. That's, a, that's an old I'm surprised that bit of all things came back up again. How how old is that video? I don't know anymore because Machinima got taken down. I think it was like God, 2011, 2010? It was, by, it was crap, I don't even remember the Sanity not included by uh by Lyle yeah. and Dex. Yes, Dex Manning. Hmm. And just like it's it's wild that like of all the bits from that show to come up like just the the the, the parallels more red string more 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 corkboard more Pepe mm -hmm. Sylvia more Pepe Sylvia yeah because it was uh the original was a it was a Halo Reach bit where they had like the jetpack and he's like he's like we're going to the bank Timothy's like we're are we robbing a fucking bank he's like we're adventuring a bank Timothy keep up shoots the guy with, like the bank teller with a shotgun and then jetpacks away before the police come mm -hmm. if you adventure a thing that's not illegal yep no <laughs> just make sure that you say that in court exactly you're good I mean, if they catch you with typewriters on you, like, I, I don't know how to help you. But <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. I have no idea. <laughs> Whatever became of those, it was years and years ago. God, this reminds me, when I graduated high school and moved up here to Alberta, my friends ended up breaking into our high school, allegedly and found allegedly a bunch, allegedly and, <clears throat> and found a bunch of like bells they took bells off the wall <laughs> allegedly and allegedly mailed them to alberta uh <laughs> so i got a care package allegedly of uh <laughs> a fire alarm uh a school bell uh it was a literal piece of the wall of the school because I had crashed my car into the school at one point and didn't get to keep the piece of the school, which I was sad about, <laughs> allegedly. Um, we, we need to get my lawyer friend to watch this episode. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine as long as podcast. we say allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> we, had a, we had a car door in my dorm room, and I don't know, I don't remember where it came from. Oh, I just thought of something. TADC, <laughs> they allegedly do crimes. Oh, there you go. There you go. Done. Perfect. Perfect. Oh there we go. Cut it. Print it. That's, that's the new title of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Brilliant. Uh, Perfect. I had a neighbor when I was in, in high school who allegedly stole. No, no, <laughs> just stole. no they, just they did this one. They just signs. did this one. He just like he he would just take signs. <laughs> so like I don't know what you're talking about. That's just the way. <laughs> <laughs> the title has changed. Oh no. <laughs> if you're listening to the audio podcast, depending I don't think we'll be able to have a dynamic title in this one. No, I don't think so. 
the title was <laughs> Amazing Disc Circus, which has now been changed to They Allegedly Do Crimes. Okay, so oh putting God. the title as They Allegedly Do Crimes does indicate that if someone arrives late, they're going to be like, what's happening? Do these people do crimes? <laughs> And like, yeah, it does say allegedly, so we're off the hook. But it's there we go. This is their, bad. This is their the first time anybody ever comes on to John's channel. And they're like, oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, he's that kind of streamer. Okay. <laughs> oh God, I can't believe these guys are stealing typewriters all the time. <laughs> <laughs> typewriters, school bells, hardened criminals, car doors. Oh, just the worst. Just metal stuff. <laughs> we're re we're repurposing. It's fine. That's all we're doing. <laughs> I don't know if it's repurposing if, like, if it's actively being used. <laughs> that's You're not right. repurposed. Like, the typewriters, you could well, maybe that's what argue. I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean is the typewriters. No, I don't. I'm not talking about the school Quick, stuff. get the ink ribbons. <laughs> yeah, it's aggressive you... recycling, someone said in the chat. <laughs> oh, my God. Hmm. Was there a lot of uh I'm just gonna do a quick uh quick segue here. Was there a lot of room to, to improv uh while you were doing uh Kane and the Amazing Digital Circus? <sighs> I mean I'm just trying to remember if there was any improv that I did. I mean like Like Goose's script was so genuinely naturally funny when I was reading it that I was like you know what? No, I'm just gonna go along with what Goose is telling me to do because I I believe in this. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, my fiance is in the chat, and <laughs> she pointed out that the line made me. That is such corpse. a good line. You did that, that is so amazingly naturally. It did not come naturally the first time I saw it. Like, I <laughs> I, I, I read it in the script, knowing like what she was going for, I burst out laughing, and yet it still takes me like five or six takes to really get right. Hmm. That's a shame. We could have had the main character be... <laughs> well, I don't know. I I think I pronounced it like I have saved the full raw audio of my first session, and I believe I pronounced it ex <laughs> That seems like it'd be a lot easier to pronounce, honestly, than trying to like pronounce the X just as like a X noise off the bat. Yeah, yeah. Oops, sorry if you'll hear uh, Arvin downstairs. Mm -hmm. well, I thought um, that was actually Manatee. Someone is asking, how did Luke and Kevin react to that? I don't know. I, I mean, I I know that they did an interview with Goose and Michael Kovac, who voices Jax in the pilot. But I've never actually interacted with uh, the brothers myself, though that might change come Momocon. Hey, the only thing I, the only thing I really know the brothers from, I know they do SMG four and a few other things uh, that never really crossed my radar for the longest time. But in recent times, I've come across a video of the brother Luke just dying of laughter while listening to this like old Japanese Donkey Kong Country two commercial. I, I kind of want to find this commercial. Uh, <laughs> it's called Super Donkey Kong 2 in Japan. So just search Super Donkey Kong 2. And if it starts with Donkey Kong's head, his awkward 3D head getting launched out of a cannon, then you're good. I think, <laughs> you're I, golden. I, I, think I found it. <laughs> yep. So it's just Oh like my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, this yeah. might be a segue into the retractable teeth conversation. Wow. Oh no! Wow. Wow. Yeah, no, that, wow. <laughs> but yeah, like, the moment the head goes, soup, Luke just died laughing. And, and would not stop for like Jesus. two minutes. <laughs> Talk about in-your-face advertising. That's like literally in-your-face. That's something soup. you gotta look up. Soup. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, like, every time I come back to it, I'm not expecting it. <laughs> Arcane's teeth retractable. <laughs> Where would I, they I go? Feel like if, I feel like if Kane retracted his teeth, 
he just invert himself. <laughs> <laughs> like he would invert and just phase out from existence. I don't know why, but like the the you talking about retracting Kane's teeth. The first thing that comes to mind is bald Kane. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god! That I don't know what that would look Kane. like. And I, I'll be real, I haven't even seen any fan art of Toothless Kane. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. If I you're want to you're see. just trying to will into existence now, aren't you? That's what you're trying to do. Here's Kane when he's I ninety be, years I old. It's, it's just gums. <laughs> it's just gums instead of teeth. <laughs> This is a good yeah, someone chat. Give a me a moment to will things <laughs> I, into existence. Have, a few months ago, I got like I got incredibly sick after a trip to California, and I was in agony. And I was just like, "Hey guys, can you like? Oh hey, I'm, we're all Tom again." <laughs> but like, I was gonna say, "Hey guys, what would Kane be like if he got sick?" Like, would he just say, instead of coughing or sneezing, like, would he just blurt out, click here for free iPod, or hot <laughs> singles in your area? <laughs> he got a malware virus, damn it. Yep. So I willed art of that into existence. In. So who knows? Maybe right. people will make art of Toothless Kane, maybe they there won't. <laughs> I don't oh, be surprised God. if you have at least three pieces worth of that by the end of the show. Yeah, people love gums. <laughs> <laughs> what? So they sure do. Yeah, like, yeah. It's a there's a I don't know scientific study or something. <laughs> exactly. You just like well, if, without gums, you wouldn't have teeth. Not easily. Not easily. No. I just uh, found someone's art. Um. That's showing Tom with the Pepe Sylvia. <laughs> yep, I saw that one. Mm -hmm. It's exactly on the tip. Instead of saying instead of saying Pepe Sylvia, it says Alex Roshan on there. And I think there's, there's a crudely drawn picture of Kane on the bottom of it. Oh man. Bizzard the Wed Bizzard the Wizard. Bizzard the Wizard. This is the Wizard. Jasper Jasper's quick on those. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh. Allegedly, Allegedly does not exist. Yep. Although I can't also help but notice the uh, the incredibly buff King Boo in the in the Discover More <laughs> section of that one. <laughs> that Jasper has a side hobby, and their side hobby is, <laughs> is really buff everything. So everyone everyone has a side hobby around here. Daddy King Boo, what the hell? <laughs> King Boo is father. I've seen things. <laughs> Too many things. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. I've stared into the abyss. It didn't stare back. It's that's stupid if you think it does that. It doesn't have eyes. It's an abyss. It's just a void. Exactly. Like you should have known better. There you go. <laughs> the secret ingredient is crime. Yeah, the secret ingredient is crime. That's, that's the, why. That's, that's the why so many true crime podcasts are around. That's been the uh, that's been the disc only podcast uh, credo since uh, since disc only began. Wait, what what is Kentucky Fried Chicken made with? Um, uh, Kentucky me. people from Kentucky. I was gonna assume was chicken, but maybe that was just a far reach on that. Well, I, I'm just seems like part of it could be crime. Ah, Kentucky oh, no. Fried Crime. I get you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, not Kentucky <laughs> crimes. That's the worst kind. <laughs> <laughs> If you the do a real, Kentucky the, crime, they'll take you to Kentucky jail. The real conspiracy is that Kentucky is shaped like a piece of fried chicken. Oh, my God. That's, why they, that's why they did that. My, my Canadian ass not knowing the silhouette of most uh, U.S. states. states. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, Alex. I'm with you there on that one. Uh, oh, my God. It does vaguely resemble a <laughs> oh. I'm s John, you can look that up. That I, is... I, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> I gotta tell the other Canadian in the As call. A Canadian, you never clearly do not know what Kentucky looks like and therefore must see Kentucky. <laughs> 
<laughs> see, see, Oklahoma is perfect because it's shaped like a deep fryer for Kentucky. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Huh. And uh, and Texas that. and Texas is shaped like everything in Texas. <laughs> Bigger just, than you. Yeah, big. It's not just that. It's that that Texans are so proud of being Texas that everything is shaped like Texas in Texas. Because I know. I like how Idaho going. is just kind of doing its own little thing, just kind of vibing up there. there in a with the weirdest shape. It's like <laughs> between Washington and Montana, it's like a hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> I actually got another con coming up in October where I'm going to Texas for the first time, so I'll be able to confirm that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That one I can. That one I can drive to. Hmm. Cause Texas. Cause, Cause Texas. Texas. Yep. Just Texas. It, it, I. I. Th there was culture shock moving from, like, teeny tiny little Connecticut to giant ass Texas. Cause in Connecticut, if you drive for three hours, you've gone through six states. In Texas, if you drive for three hours, you haven't crossed a quarter of it. I mean, if, if you leave El Paso and drive three hours, you might get to Fort Stockton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've, oh, right, you've made that drive. Yeah, I've done it. It was <laughs> the worst road in America. <laughs> I, I haven't even <laughs> been on all the roads. Nothing but flat plains filled with oil fields. It is the fastest speed limit in the U.S., and that was fun. What is the fastest speed limit in the U.S.? 85. What is that in kilometers? Man, I don't know. <laughs> do Google! Fast. Do the conversion to freedom units, John. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I didn't know it was 85. I thought it was 80 was the fastest. I think it's 85. 136, dang. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Again, if everyone's going that fast, it's not that exciting. I don't oh, know. Yeah, My we, car's we... governor's at like 160, and I would definitely drive over the speed limit. So I'd probably hit that. Allegedly. 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 I mean, like, I've, <laughs> I've definitely driven faster than 85, allegedly, in places that it's not 85, allegedly. The Texas road where everyone is going 85 is less exciting. I remember um, back whenever I was in high school, I had a Mercury Cougar. Uh, it was a really, really old <laughs> Mercury Cougar. It was my first car, and I wanted to see what it could do um, on one of the back roads. And I was able to like, I was able to barely hit like ninety, and that thing was just like, oh, it was like it, it was just completely pushed. It pushed everything it could to go ninety miles an hour. <laughs> it was just like the, the, little, the little Mercury Cougar that could, dude. I and it was funny because like. It was just I I, I always kind of like treated it differently after that. I'm like, it's okay, baby. You don't have to go that fast, you know, like that type of thing. <laughs> I didn't want it to like like freak out or nothing. I, I just I, it's, it's all right, car. I just needed to push your limits one time. Yeah, but I just wanted to see what you could do, and it was like, never do that again. <laughs> oh yeah, once oh, you're yeah. in a <laughs> once you're in Texas, Alex, I gotta take you to to uh, Bucky's and we'll get you some beaver nuggets. Oh, Bucky's comes Sign back again. That's, that was amazing. And if you ever come oh. up to Canada someday, hint, hint, I could get you beaver tails. Ooh. Is, is that it? Damn it. You, you pulled the Uno reverse card on me. Now, now, I'm, now I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> that is all according to Keikaku. <laughs> Translators note, Keikaku means plan. A beaver tail is like a sweet treat, right? Yeah, it's basically just like a, a really flat pastry, and they top it with, like bits and bobs like like spreads like nutella sometimes Ooh, thank sugars. you thank you for explaining that though because like i'm from south carolina and i'm sure that people actually eat beaver tails i got here. your I'm first pretty one certain. <laughs> <laughs> oh no i'm in so much pain <laughs> picture of it's a picture of toothless cane saying poppy i'm in so much pain Oh wait, I forgot about the teeth. I didn't even notice the teeth were missing. Hobby of the bow of pain! I think maybe the character shouldn't have teeth. Because, like, that's a good uh. voice. 
it's, no. It's the new it's the new cane. <laughs> we, we 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 can claim that if, you know when when the amazing digital circus ends up getting getting a uh, their first episode and the plot is Kane's missing teeth. We could we could say that we were there first. <laughs> oh my lord. God. Anytime I think about that one what was it? It's uh it's like the song that plays at the end of the Amazing Digital Circus. There's a Twitter account called uh, the Happy Raccoons. Do a lot of like art and animation of like of raccoons and they did this one where it's it's a uh, you know the end the the I, th I think the song is called your new home it like starts playing the raccoon walks in it's got a piece of cotton candy dips into the puddle realizes it's gone then it, when it when it kicks off into like the the big like orchestral moment it's just like the realistic zoom in on the raccoon's face it's so good does that mean kane is a kong <laughs> because of the teeth listen if you if yeah. you call him kane kong then you're gonna have issues with the universal yeah, it's close yeah. enough. It's different enough. Oh, God. Jax would be absolutely cursed with no teeth. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that it's in the, chat. I'm just like, the oh. Same, it's the same silhouette, just like the wavy line where the gums are. Oh, my God. <laughs> that just like sent like a shock through my system thinking about that. I'm just like, oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> You don't need to. <laughs> this one. This one's really good. <laughs> the podcast that allegedly asks, "What if Kane Digital Circus allegedly had retractable teeth?" And I regrettably decided to answer. Yep. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what even yeah, is what is Ottawa to pee in there? Slurp. Yeah, slurp. <laughs> slurp. Slurp. That's a good sound effect. For the audio listeners, it's it's a drawing of Kane and Bubble, and the next panel is the teeth retracting and the gums remain with the sound effect schlurp. And uh, Bubble making a very non-Bubble face. Like, it, like the, the mouth is very small on Bubble. I didn't think that was possible. The gums, ironically, kind of look like sharp fangs. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a T-Rex skull. a little terrifying. It's my oh, amazing. my lord. <laughs> My amazing digital circus OC, uh, uh, vein. It's just cane, but with vampire fangs. <laughs> now we're going into like, uh, multiple universe territory. <laughs> Tom blur territory, Tom blur territory. <laughs> oh no. I love that. I love that Jax became like a Tumblr sexy man for like yeah. about a week and a half. <laughs> that just freaking that blew my mind. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Everybody likes a charming dickhead. There you go. It's true. I can't. Wait, wait. I still can't believe the one slur became the Tumblr sexy the, man. The Tumblr sexy man was he the he was in the finals against Sans uh, in that poll that they did right. For that who was the that hottest? Was the dude uh, who from, was the, no, was that was Sans the dude from uh, the Lorax. Mob Psycho. Uh, oh, the oh, right, Reagan right. From, um, uh, Mob Psycho. Reagan. Reagan. Reagan yeah. Yeah. Sans. yeah. The that was like the only one. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I look so strange and I love it. <laughs> and everyone's just staring at you directly. <laughs> speaking of um speaking of which, shout outs to um the person who designed my uh he calls it a a, a peanut. He is Dr. Crafty. He is a VTuber as well. He does a lot of art streams. And he does all kinds of weird shenanigans, so check him out. Here, I'll get the actual full one up here, because I've only been using this yeah, silhouette. Yeah, but yeah here's, uh, here's the actual full peanut. There it is. It's peanut! Full peanut. It that would be that would be like your uh, your like your U2's figure. <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, my fiance pointed out that Luca raided him once. Oh nice. Oh nice. I'm running out of red string, guys. Like, you can't keep bringing up connections here. <laughs> Go to Michael's and buy more. I just went to... I just I, I just came back from buying a new Wii. Why did you buy a new Wii? Well, no, no, not like a new inbox one, but like the one I was using before. So, my roommate got a new dog. Uh, after a walk, that dog has a ton of energy. Comes barreling in here to play with Manatee, runs under my desk, runs back out, catches on the cord to my uh, to my GameCube controller, pulls the entire system down, 
um, at, which broke the fans. Uh, oh. So so I was playing I was playing with it for a little while and it was just like automatically like shut off. So uh, I was just like, you know what? I got it. And this is on on uh, stream as well when I was hunting for the shiny Quagsire in Coliseum. So I was like, I'm just going to stop. I'm going to try to get this open, see if I can get to the fans. There were two screws that were way too um, way too tough for me to get off. Um, they were just stuck. I couldn't. And, and the more I tried it, the more I was stripping the screws. So I was just like, yeah. I'm just going to I'm just going to buy a, a new Wii. So like so an hour before this, we started this. I went to. Uh, I went to my local game shop, got a Wii, and then picked up some McDonald's on the way back. I love Can't that. believe you didn't go to KFC. I there was there's one in that intersection. Kentucky Fried Crime. You know what they it's say? Very... Allegedly, we have chicken here. Allegedly, <laughs> we have chicken. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Crime. Oh God! <laughs> right next to McDonald's. Jesus. I, I feel this the elevator from the shining. <laughs> And there, listen, it's all the same shopping mall, that food court right next to uh, right next to everyone's favorite subway. That is the most cursed shopping mall food court of all time. This is a, well, this uh, this is this is the canonical shopping mall that we host disc only from. True. <laughs> oh, God, someone said McDonald's. Yep. McDonald's. Yeah, because we talked. To, was it last podcast? The podcast before Two we were talking about, ago, the Donner we about the Donner yeah. Party. Yeah. No, I mean Dahmer. Oh, no, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, I see it now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, McDonald's is a different place. Tommy, I have no teeth. Oh. <laughs> Tommy, I have no teeth. We, we want subwriting credits if you guys end up doing a, 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 a subplot. Like <laughs> <laughs> subwriting credits to the Disco League podcast chat. Like, just specifically the chat. <laughs> Uh, spe- we get the, we get a little mention in special thanks. Yeah, special, special thanks to Disc Only Podcast Community. Uh, oh man! Oh man! Oh goodness me! He has no teeth, and he must scream. <laughs> I, I got uh, easy to do unless the vocal cords are in the teeth. I mean, we don't know I gotta, how cane works. That's true. For all we know, is pee could be stored in the balls. <laughs> I think Listen. only Goose knows how cane works, period. It's true, yeah. yeah. Mm. What was um, that, Steven? Just, no, I'm just, I don't want to talk about... No, go, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you, you I don't want to talk what? about where the pee is. No, no, you, we, we don't have to talk about the pee. We can just talk just, about the teeth. It's, mm. I wonder if Alex would be interested in going to the Outback Stab House. Yeah, how much would you, you be willing to get stabbed for a steak dinner? Oh, you, you can choose the amount of steak and the amount of stabbing. You just tell us. Well, the amount of steak is proportional to the amount of stabbing. Be just like a little. I love the just the, the silent over. contemplation. You get a little. You, you yeah. get a little nick. You get. You get like a little nick. We give you like one potato wedge. <laughs> Don't put him on the spot <laughs> like this, man. <laughs> I, lo- I this is my favorite part of having a guest on the show. Give him like, time so, to order. So just allegedly, if you were to get stabbed over meat, <laughs> <laughs> you could just tell us Listen, what the experience would be like for you. We just want to know. He is not ready to order yet. Okay, he's still looking at the menu. Give him some time. All right. I do have uh, like a real question. This is a this is a genuine question that is important because it tells a lot about the person. Alex, what is your sandwich order? Oh, for... John, no, shut no, up. Let him Alex, cook. <laughs> what, is your, what is your sandwich order? Because this is important. Is this I'm lightheaded. tied into this? I'm not really familiar with. Is this, no, is there good? This is perfect. No, this I'm is an actual. You, this is an actual oh, question. Don't I'm worry. He's not. You as a, as a human being on this planet, okay. you go into a sandwich shop that has any toppings, any type of bread, anything that you want. <laughs> what is the sandwich that you create? <laughs> Sorry, the, the visceral sandwich with pesto and mozzarella cheese. Oh my god! I'm That's so actually... glad that you had an answer like so ready. Like you know what you're about. You know what kind of sandwich you want. That's a fast answer. That's a good answer. I mean, I've made... I'm the cook of the house, and I've made myself a good sandwich before, so... I love that. 
I'm gonna yeah, pivot not... here real quick. Why am I the mascot for pulling teeth out of people? <laughs> 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 I was gonna say it. that. I'm like, what is Tom doing there? Uh, uh, the it's visceral, it's... the <laughs> visceral shut up, Tom, or the shut up, John freaked me up, dude. I got lightheaded for laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> for the audio listeners, more fan art of King without teeth. In front of Pommy saying, Pommy, I was on a podcast and they took my teeth. And in the background oh, is me yeah. with a with a podcat, yes. In the background is me with a pair of pliers holding one of Kane's teeth, looking happy as a clam. <laughs> I mean, to be honest though, like of the four of us, if someone had to pull out a tooth, I feel like Tom would do it most willingly. Yeah, I kind of feel <laughs> right? the same way. Right? Yeah. I guess definitely Tom. Like, it would be difficult for anybody, but I think it would be least difficult for Tom. Like, Tom would be like, well, I'll do it. You just, I mean, like, I, I was thinking, like, do you really think of me as, like, doing, like, the dirty jobs like that? And I remember when we went disc golfing and one of us had to retrieve a disc out of a lake. And, and that was you. Yep. Okay, question. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell it's, is that? It's gotta be for, it's gotta be from, like, a, like a cartoon or something, like. Like an animated show. I, I see like it's a, I don't it, like it. Yeah. There's a little bunch of buttons over here, so it might be from a game. It's Go, uh, Gokai it's, likes it's, to pull some pretty esoteric like games. I don't wonder. According over to Chad, it's from what yeah, Wander Over Yonder. It's a it's a, a dentist whose entire head is just gums and teeth. I'm I've never seen that, and I would have been better off not seeing it, but now I have. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm, with you. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that we're on the same page there, Alex. Have, Thank you, you, for have you seen this picture of Kane <laughs> allegedly stealing a typewriter, though? That's <laughs> 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 oh, oh, so good. Uh, okay, that's perfect. I like the heart. <laughs> I, I, lo I love that it's just a poll. Like, it's like a, like a Google search typewriter.png. <laughs> Dude, no, they're they're not gonna go through and like freaking yeah, do that. I, I, I get it, but it's just funny to me, like the the the, the different styles. Uh, yeah, I know it's perfect. That I mean, that's exactly what it would look like if Kane actually did that. I'm sure of it. Who's to say they didn't? Is this just how Kane own courted the moon? Writer? True, they might not have been stealing. Or it's maybe true. they maybe they painstakingly freaking drew like the most photo accurate typewriter ever and we're very just, true. We're, we are not appreciating the amount of work that went into that <laughs> <laughs> it's back episode since Yay! last time back stab house mention zero Woo! big old big old goose egg baby <clears throat> you, ne you never show it when the you, you never show it when the the uh the, the the counter reaches one i'm sure it's reached one once it reached three ones i believe there you go it's impressive we need to try harder yeah, Make sure I'm that sorry. sucker never goes. It should have never zero. gotten to three. I'm really, I'm really apologetic. <laughs> we we, that. <laughs> we take personal responsibility. Oh, there no! it is. There it is, Jared. There, I did what not. That's what you wanted. I didn't. I didn't want it. I was just. I. I got the. Uh, I was the one who freaking like actually freaked out about thinking about it. For the audio <laughs> listeners, it's, yeah. uh, it's Jax from uh, the Amazing Digital Circus with no teeth. Tongue Don't worry. Out. Don't worry, audio listeners. You're better off. You really are better off. <laughs> <laughs> also, my yeah, friend, so. if you are somehow finding this and or watching this, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. The Disco Only podcast is not responsible. Period. <laughs> not <tracks. laughs> just oh, that. As, long, as, as long as we have that disclaimer and just keep saying allegedly all the time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we are allegedly not responsible. No, wait, that is the opposite. Wait a minute. Oh man. All right, Alex, I gotta ask. Like, what is what is one of your favorite things about like doing voices, like being a voice actor? Because like, I got a couple of friends um, who do voice work as well, but I've never I've never really actually gotten to ask that question to them. You know. I almost kind of don't really know. I I don't know. It's just like, it's the best answer I can give is I enjoy it. I enjoy like playing wacky characters. I've always kind of gravitated to doing voices and impressions and stuff like that. I couldn't really tell you why. It's just something I've always over the course of my life gravitated to. Hmm. And I love cartoons. I like making people laugh. 
Uh, it's for a lot of reasons, and apparently people seem to like what I do, so I don't really see much of a reason to not do it. Hmm. Well, I definitely, um, I think we could all say that we want you to continue. <laughs> that is for sure. I'd like me to continue. Manatee wants you to continue if you were <laughs> there just a second ago. Manatee! What's the, the uh, what's the most difficult part? I think that would be an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Oh, the most difficult part of voice acting. Uh, vocal strain. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Do it. So, I, mean, I, uh, I feel that just being a streamer, like, legit. Like, I mean, Kane, you'd think, is pretty difficult to voice because he's very loud and shouty. And that is true. Some, I remember, like, Goose asking me once or twice if I was okay because, like, I remember coughing during one... Uh, during one or two episodes. But the real challenge was at my old job where I was doing live text or live speech to text captioning. Mm. And I was captioning for the news sometimes. And some of these news shows are three hours or sometimes even four hours long with just commercial breaks in terms of reprieve. Wow. So. Yeah, like, speaking for basically three hours with minimal interruptions, that, so, I've had to learn how to really pace myself, breathe properly, and especially remember to drink water. It's so funny that you say that, like, the normal voice is what freaks you up, because, like, it's, it's weird, because, like, I can scream on a cast, I could just, you know, ah! like do all that stuff for a while and it doesn't freak me up but after after like even just talking uh like if i were to do like a gaming cast and just talk normally for a while that's what freaks my throat up and i don't know why that is um i think it's just like some i guess some people's voices are just meant to be loud i guess i don't know i mean it depends uh, too on like the repetition of everything too like like yeah yeah whenever, yeah. I, like, whenever I switch to this well. voice this voice doesn't hurt at all but if i go back to my normal voice or go lower like i always find it always messes my throat up so it just depends on a bunch of factors yeah. it's not that <laughs> speaking with my regular voice is more difficult than speaking when i'm louder in fact i would say that if i had to shout for three hours i would probably be mute by now <laughs> I, uh it's just Certain things will eventually cause my voice to give out, whether it's mm -hmm. speaking for too long or speaking too loudly in intermittent bursts. The vocal mm. cords are very fragile and they need to be properly maintained. True. I have a bad habit when I'm wearing headphones and I can't hear myself, I'll speak louder. Which oh, is that's normal. That's very normal. Well, yeah, yeah. Which is generally how I'm speaking while on stream. So, like when I've been doing the shiny hunting attempts, and I do like the 100 attempts, usually it takes like five hours. That's five hours of me speaking in this elevated tone, and like by the end of it, I'm like, I need tea. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it, what I it, usually do is, sorry, go on. No, no, go ahead. I, I just got a Windows update, and it scared the freak was, out of me. Yeah. I was also going to say like. Shit, I lost my train of thought. Uh, the difficulties in speaking too long, uh, whether it be for like voice acting or like using your normal voice. Um, just trying to like jog your memory here with what we were talking about before. Yeah, I'm. I am sorry. I have lost the thought. I mean, that's the whole podcast. Yeah, well, don't even worry. Yeah, about yeah. It. this is a very much train of consciousness. Perfect. Don't worry. This is yeah. this is exactly. You are one of us now. <laughs> you are a natural, and it's perfect. <laughs> hey, I mean, sometimes no. we just change the subject on a on a dime. <laughs> I say sometimes, oh, as if no. it, it still always or, goes back or, to or, teeth, or, though. Somehow teeth or, always or, comes back. <laughs> or you know, we repeat like the same or, or, or we repeat the heaven. same topics ad nauseum and just repeat what we said in the past like eight podcasts. Tell me about yeah, your Alex, dreams, your Alex. Favorite? Alex, what's your favorite fighting game? Do you have a favorite fighting game? <laughs> Steven, I'm going to be the most basic bitch ever and just say Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Let's go. 
What's your favorite I dream? Ever... Have you had a favorite dream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've actually never talked about either dreams or fighting games on this podcast nope, before, so we never. thought tonight would be a good opportunity to bring or, them in. Or step mania. Dreams, I found, like, I've always been fascinated by dreams. And oh, oh, baby, here we go. When I was go. younger, oh, I used to write I used to write some of my dreams down and let's go. Like, I remember like some of my dreams can be kind of fucked up and terrifying. I need to like, interrupt you for just one second. Look at the art that's on screen right now. <laughs> for this next adventure, you will receive multiple stabbings. Your reward is a really good steak. We've done it. Kane works at the Outback Stab House. <laughs> well, you, do you remember? Like, did you guys see the, uh, the teaser for Digital Circus, where it's Kane throwing knives at Pomni. Oh yeah, <laughs> Kane absolutely would work for the Out Outback Stab House. He probably owns it. Let's be honest. The uh, the art was just like Kane right up against Pomni with a knife. Anyway, uh, back to dreams. Talking about your uh, oh. horrifying, horrifying dreams. <laughs> like, I remember like years and years ago when I was a child. Like, I had a dream where like there was like basically an invasion of like jellyfish aliens raining from the sky i had a dream where there was like a fucking gray alien in a trench coat and a hat like appearing from behind like turning to look at me screaming in my face and then like grabbing me in a chokehold and then i and then i remember one dream that's got a bit of a long story to it but there was a dream where i looked out my window and just on the horizon, it's like, it's pitch black, but there's like a big glowing red obelisk off in the distance. And it's like, in my mind, it was like, this is ending the world or something. It's a lot of existential your, stuff. Your dreams are rad. Hell yeah. Did, did yeah. you watch I, I, like, a, like a scary movie? Uh, honestly, as a kid, I didn't really gravitate to scary stuff, but... I mean, I, I play Kane. I'm I gravitate to existential horror. <laughs> Did your parents but, like, ever put the scary thing on in the living room and then call you out to see it and then laugh? That didn't happen. Never mind. <laughs> One. I mean, I mean, my dad did show me Roger Rabbit, perhaps a bit too young, but oh yeah, I was. <laughs> There you I go. remember you were talking about Roger Rabbit on one of your latest Quagsire streams, Tom. Oh yeah. God, That's one it, of my favorite movies too. It's it's, so, it's, it's such a, a good, good movie. movie. Good. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, not even just in the technical aspects, but the story. Yeah, it. It's the got rules. The rules of great. cartoons versus uh, versus real people. You could have escaped those cuffs anytime. Not any time. Only when it was funny. Yeah, it's just that that sh that movie was so good. Eddie Valiant's character arc is like genuinely really heartwarming. Jessica and Roger's relationship is very, very sweet and simple. Uh, just like the scene where, like Eddie is in his office just mulling over the past, that gets me emotional. And then, uh, and the judge just being an absolute unhinged monster. Remember me, so Eddie? Perfect. God, when I, I killed your brother, I sounded just. Thank you. <laughs> also, Kinger with teeth. Yeah, I saw that. BRB, like, send, BRB sending that to Sean Shiplock. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, Judge Doom, I think I was like eight when I first saw Roger Rabbit. The scene where he where he melts that shoe. Oh, oh my yeah. God, Horrifying. That up. That upset me, like dude. That was fricked. Like, re the red paint. That's blood. That is freaking blood. Oh, it's such a creative movie on so many levels. I love it. I love how like all the chemicals that go into dip as well are like stuff that could remove ink from like anything. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the whole. That's the whole point. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, it's just a creative use of it. It's just, it's just a mixture of all of them, but it, I still think it's, it's still pretty neat. The way to kill a tune. Hmm. 
It's accurate. It's accurate. There you well, go. I am five. You know, Five Nights at Freddy's Jacks. Oh my God! No teeth. Me. This hurts my soul. <laughs> I don't know why y'all think I was asking for this. I, I was I was disturbed by the thought of it. And then it was like, oh, you asked for it. Like, I didn't ask for crap. All right. Oh, my God. But, but the question is, is that his hand? Is that a phone? Or is that a crank? Ah. Uh. I heard, I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to introduce you. Well, maybe not introduce you, but I'd like to remind you of the Streisand effect. You know, yeah, you're right. Oh, a a crank, not not crank. <laughs> no, not the movie Crank starring Jason Statham. So I I actually really liked that movie whenever it came out. The first one was actually pretty freaking insane. I saw the second one in theaters and really liked it, but for some reason the end part of the end where he's on fire and flips everyone off in the theater, I'm just like, all right, that, I'm just like, this is the part I'm out. I don't know why that for some reason got me. <laughs> As like the very last scene of the movie, practically. Yeah, I, I really, really liked the first one. It was it was just it was fun. It was a fun movie for me. Can I just say back to Roger Rabbit quickly? Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things about the movie in retrospect is like all the subtle hints that Judge Dune is a tune. But I think my favorite part of that is like just after R.K. Maroon gets killed, and you see Judge Doom in the back alley running away in the goofiest manner possible. Like, <laughs> like, like, like he's scampering away like a cartoon villain. So perfect. Oh, that movie is so well thought out. It's very good. Tom, I see you in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm pretty sure that like that Steel Bouncer has already made a Tom with teeth. Yeah, I think I showed it earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, oh no, you showed you you showed the one. God, I forgot what the co what the conversation was. It is eventually this, boiled this down to orange. yeah. It eventually boiled down to me being the annoying oh, orange with teeth, I and I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember like <laughs> what picture he took that from, but oh my god, my like I, I didn't recognize that those are my eyes at first. That's definitely my mouth, but I didn't recognize that those are my eyes, my tired ass looking eyes. Mom, you look, you look tired. I'm sorry. Are you I look at this sleep? and I just, I just think of that one freaking smiling Titan from Attack on Titan. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Don't that. John, no! Oh, oh, God, I realized, no! I realized what have you done? No, I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> this is just your raid screen, but like <laughs> hyper realistic. It's I dope. hate it. Those I of you the, those it. listening to the audio podcast. One of one of my one of my community members uh, edited the Tom face where it replaces the eyes and mouth with my IRL eyes and mouth. God, I hope that's the stream the incredibly thumbnail. Incredibly uncanny effect. <laughs> it was on there long enough where it could be the stream God, thumbnail. God, I hope so. I'm, Although, <laughs> I'm gonna go look. <laughs> Although it also does remind me of the Meatball Man. The Meatball oh, Man. man. No idea what have that any is. Of you, have any of you watched one of Gooseworks' earlier cartoons called Little Runmo? Is that why the ad for our, like the plushies ended with Meatball Man? Now it all makes sense. Oh. <laughs> meat Lad. Meat Lad. Or Meat Lad. That's the one. That's the one. Meat Lad. Meat yeah. Lad. So, no. The, the If you've seen Little Runmo, maybe this... like There's a scene where they're where the main character f comes across a room that's just labeled ominously as the Meatball Man. And character goes inside it. He's looking for an extra life at the end of the room, which is just a linear-ass hallway. He's trying to run to the end of the hallway, but then in the background, this giant, like, photorealistic meatball with eyes and a mouth starts uh, inching towards the camera slowly, but this incredibly goofy music starts playing, and it's just like... You need to see it yourself. I saw. I saw. Uh, like, yeah, I, I, I saw Ghost of the Year. What, what's this? Uh, what's this one called? <laughs> Little like Runmo. Me. I really like Muse Little Jacks. R U N M O. There we go. Basically. Oh wow! It's it's if, long. If you liked if you like Digital Circus, you'll probably like this. It's got. Similarly, kind of <laughs> I found the meatball man. 
<laughs> what a sentence. What a sentence was just uttered. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you listening to the music? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna it's... I'm not going to even... I can't Sorry, describe on. this. You have to watch this yourself, chat. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother singing that song because I can't do it justice. It's just like it's like taking, it's, it's taking one scream and turning it into like a keyboard <laughs> instrument, like a synth yes. instrument. It's it's so funny. It reminds me like yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I found the meatball man <laughs> needs to be added <laughs> to the quotes once that's back up. I, I found the meatball man. <laughs> What is it called? It's called a uh, what was it? Is a uh, uh, little Runmo, R U N M O for Runmo. Yes. Can I? I gotta watch this really quick. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that is freaking something else. <laughs> the the meatball man Porsche is like the most played part of it too. For good reason. Oh my god. <laughs> The rest of it is hilarious, though. There's, in fact, it actually there is a joke in Little Runmo that is referenced in Digital Circus's pilot. So, mm. if you rewatch, if you watch Little Runmo and then rewatch the pilot, there's a line that'll stick out to you as, "Oh, hey, Goose literally just referenced Runmo her own work." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. That is, that, that is something that I will not be able to get out of my head for a little while. Yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And like, just like the entire bit of it, it's just, it's not rolling. It's just, it's like rumbling slightly and getting closer. <laughs> not yep. even rumbling. It's like, it's just kind of like, God, it's so weird. It's just slowly, ominously inching towards the <laughs> screen. <laughs> God bless Deef trying consistently to add, quote, I found the meatball man. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, I need to watch more of Goose's stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh god, I, <laughs> I love it, but I hate it as well. Suck him in. <laughs> Do my Steven teeth retract? What a ridiculous question, Pomni. Of course they do! <laughs> and of, of, of course, just the. <laughs> oh, oh God! Oh yeah, the, the cane ASMR sound of it. Oh God! Oh no! Oh man! I, I literally just heard my fiance groaning from the other room. <laughs> 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 hi, Char hi, Charlie. Also, she says hello. <laughs> Dan in chat. I think that's time, folks. <laughs> oh no! Well, you know it's bad when Dan's just saying we're done. Well, I'm we're out of this. I'm done with this show now. All right. So I need to ask which one? Of, which one of these podcast episodes was more cursed? This one or the one with Jules on it? Oh boy. How was I think that? I think that this one is th up there. I think the, the art alone pushes this one over. Yeah. The, one, the one with Jules was just so much whiplash, though, because he would go. We would go back and forth between extremely cursed topic and the uh, and like the stress and pressure it is to be a content creator. Yeah, it, it, was, it was it was like a freaking roller coaster. This, this one was just a descent in the madness. <laughs> this one had way more teeth. <laughs> way yeah, more. That, teeth. that is true. You too. know, you know, it's. It's interesting mm. because, for whatever reason, there has been a lot of teeth conversations on the show, but this one did win. There was I'm, more teeth. Today. We have a character. Well, we have somebody who plays a character who's literally teeth, though, so it's kind exactly. of a given. I think that did contribute, yeah. <laughs> quite a bit. Quite a bit. I'm not entirely sure. 
I think so. <laughs> Correlation doesn't always equal causation, but you know. Oh, there he is. It's Vain. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh my God. Vampire Kane. Oh. Hello. It is. Oh my God. I just remembered one of the first roles I ever got. Rather, like, I think it might actually be the first quote unquote role I ever received was in grade four when I was nine, getting cast as Dracula in a halloween play that we were putting on <laughs> nice <laughs> so i did so i Poor did memory stereoty- unlocked so i did your stereotypical uh, bleh, vampire voice and yeah transylvanian eastern european pretty much <laughs> really good representation of the meatball man in this art Golly. it's like an enemy from earthbound <laughs> Meatball man approaches. Yeah. <laughs> Just oh god! I mean, I know there's an NES version of the Meatball Man theme somewhere. <laughs> if if someone did it in the Earthbound sound font, just put it. In, just pop it into uh, into Mother One. There we go. Oh it's my the god! Moon enemy in the Lost why? Underworld. Steal why? Oh, what does Steel do? No! 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 It's me as the meatball man! Get that the fuck! (laughs) I'm just gonna ominously inch towards you. Dude, you need that as a freaking emote, Tom. Oh no! Tom! Tom, 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 Tom! Inching towards you as the Quagsire. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Redo the Quagsire screen to make the goose works. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? Even better? We could just turn this into the new countermeasures. Oh, no. I will <laughs> never. I will never raid your stream again. <laughs> I'm in hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve, we didn't get your take. What do you think of the meatball, Tom? This this has all been a lot for me, like <laughs> seriously. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably need to pray after Steven, this. I'm gonna uh, be real. You seem like way too chill for this kind of energy sometimes. But I am <laughs> so so sorry. He's, he's what grounds us. I'm yeah. He, I'm, he I'm is. Really, he I'm is the anchor. I'm the anchor that that all of these folks need and i'm here to help <laughs> need i like that yeah. we do kind of need it i don't think the need. podcast would ever actually end without you I like how john is very like wait you're the i'm like yep it's me it's definitely <laughs> you are me. not the most granted person on this freaking podcast that's, it's, I it's very never... that's very true that coming from mr standard steak unit i have never <laughs> caused any sort of chaos or concern on this show i don't believe Allegedly. Uh, grounded, Allegedly. Not. In, no, in, in, we, uh, I, I had him backed into a corner when I was visiting him on the standard stake unit thing, and he finally actually gave me a number for what the standard stake unit is, because he would have been wrong otherwise. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, there was a number. It's uh, <laughs> sixteen. It's it, it's, uh, it's no, that's not. It was. No, that's what you it's said. Fif- it's fifteen sixteenths of a. <laughs> Of a uh, pound. Yeah, of a pound, yes. It was 15 ounces. That's a standard stake unit. Yes. <laughs> you we're, know, having this, we're having this argument in the middle of a grocery store, I want to add. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where else would you have the argument well, other than the podcast? I mean... We went, uh, we, we, went for, we went for a walk. We went to the Lidl to get a donut, and then we started screaming at each other about steak units. Yeah. Please also, note that I it is not sorry, 15. I've just noticed that, I've just noticed that my audio ounces. has been peaking like crazy at points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think we've heard it. I think you've been good. We haven't caught it on the... Uh, the yeah, it hasn't been caught in like the, the Discord call. No, you're good. Okay. Listen, if I'm not peaking the mic, you're not peaking the mic. <laughs> i i am like <laughs> i am the like the the litmus test for freaking mic explosion <laughs> are you sure just crank up the gain all the way just be like you're not peeking the mic <laughs> oh, I'm the mic. just that's all you hear is just the freaking like the static sound effect you're not peeking the mic oh 
You have to go I mean... to the phone. <laughs> you have to go to the phone. We don't have mocap. We don't have mocap. We don't have mocap. We don't even have mocap. <laughs> I do love if this anybody... art, too, of Pomni finally reaching the exit, only to see Kane on the other side of the podcast. <laughs> 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 how do you put headphones on teeth <laughs> uh, erica's in the chat and she she says americans really do just throw darts at a board for units of measurement huh <laughs> <laughs> that's certainly what it seems like hey there sweetheart go. uh oh my god we got uh, liquid measurements. We got a teaspoon. Then we got three teaspoons to the tablespoon. Then three tablespoons to the ounce. Then eight ounces to the cup. I don't even want to talk about like gallon, gallons to liters. It's bullcrap. Bizzard the big shot. The <laughs> big shot. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Look at his clasp. His clasp, his clasp is cane. Oh. Yeah, I see toothless cane in the background. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Bizzard the big shot. Big shot. Buy my dental insurance. (laughs) 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 Lonely dentists in your area, in your area that want to meet you, (laughs) and your teeth. (laughs) (laughs) Stephen, what I was going to say earlier is. Just because you talk in a more grounded voice doesn't mean that you are the grounded one. You're, pro- <laughs> you're, you're probably one of the most unhinged motherfuckers I've, I've ever met, but in a really that's, wonderful way. That's yeah. Per- perhaps grounded nice. is the wrong term. It's like it seems like more emotionally stoic. Listen, but... I thought you were gonna say stunted. I genuinely thought you were gonna say emotionally stunted. Emotionally stunted. <laughs> no. I think I hey, think it's I'm... important if if. Uh, you know, depending on I mean, the, mean, the comedy that's happening, <laughs> for there to be for there to be a straight man, and sometimes I play that role. Listen, I've heard your freaking songs on your cast. All right, the things that come out of your head are quite incredible. Oh yeah, I will remember scrape off all the dry until the day that I pass away. <laughs> yep, Paris and pork Jordan. is my religion. <laughs> <laughs> I was always worried about that. I was like, you know, Dan, when we finish this song, I'm I'm really concerned that at some point this might become a spiritual movement. And he was like, it probably won't. And I was like, mm, I don't know. Now that's what I call a cult classic. <laughs> Literally. Oh, God, I just realized. I make spaghetti and meatballs sometimes. I use pork for my meatballs. The meatball man pairs in pork. More red the tape. The red string. Red string, I, sorry. I'm going to Michael's. I'm going to Michael's now. <laughs> We've lost him. He's gone. Don't touch the fucking blender. <laughs> Dude, you, you sounded just like Jules in that uh in that in that song that he made for uh, oh god, it was the that TRG was Mix like, music or whatever. It was meant to sound like Jules. It was perfect. Acting. It's almost like you're. It's almost like you're a voice actor or something. Like holy frick! Okay, so Michael's is closed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was next door to you. That's fast. He's just he, he walked there in a in a car. <laughs> Tom lives above a Michael's. Yeah, <laughs> and all I live below Michael's, Michael's and above a pizzeria for some reason. I don't even remember renting this place. I thought that was a donator. I would explain the gaps in my memory. <laughs> <laughs> cut the stream. Cut the stream. <laughs> cut the stream. <laughs> Big brother is watching. Hey. Big brother is watching. Do not touch the blender. <laughs> <laughs> and on that Christ. cheery note, I guess I'll start wrapping up the show. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, okay. Big Brother's watching. You should be careful. You're gonna die now. Don't touch the blender. Don't touch the blender. Don't touch the blender. Don't touch the blender. He's getting closer, just like Meatball Man. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what needs to be said as the Tom Meatball Man gets closer? Don't touch the blender. Don't touch the blender. Don't touch the blender. Don't touch the blender. 
Chat, why are you spamming Paul? What what do we even say for Paul to show up? What the heck is going on? The blender, <laughs> obviously. Not, oh, the that... blender. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we so we got a new emote. His name is Paul, and he's just a freaking. <laughs> Is it the spinning rabbit one? <laughs> yeah, he's the spinning freaking model of the blue bunny. We just got Paul because it was a it was an idea from Dell and Super From and D made it. And we're like, we need a name. And somebody was like, why not Paul? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> okay, sure. And Paul just became a thing. I was wondering why they were they were spinning, but now I realize because of the blender, it makes sense. I I hate this. Me too. I hate the drug <laughs> so much. <laughs> It's so good, but so bad. <laughs> I, who is that supposed to be on the That's lab? the meatball man. Yeah, it says meat on the head. <laughs> oh. It's Kane giving a kiss to the meatball man, but Kane giving a kiss closes his mouth so you can't see the eyes. I don't know where the lips are coming from. <laughs> the, the lips coming out of the teeth, obviously. I mean, the same way... We don't know where Kane's tongue comes from or mm. how he is able to uh, smell anything. It's true. But most, yeah. most of your smell is your your tongue, right? Hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I taste, I'll... taste the scent. That's a real. Taste the that's scent. a real fact. I thought it was the other way around. I felt like that a lot of taste was smell. So like, if you lost your sense of taste, you still have like. Sort of a sense of taste because of your olfactory stuff. They're like the same oh thing. My. To end it off. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. I'm going to suck your blood. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's Vampire Kane. <laughs> so there's there's been so vampire much Kane. art tonight. There's been a lot of art, yes. And I have been sharing so much of it. <laughs> it's so, it's been so grand. All right, All right, I think now we can end off the All podcast. Right. All right, now I don't want to keep everyone too long. No, this is, this is about normal when we wrap up. We're fine. Okay. We're good. All right, talking points for this episode of the Disc Only Podcast. Hair gel power. Spam a lot. Convention again. Let's open up this nap. There's chaos in my toast. Lost that one halfway <laughs> through. Toothless Kane. Toothless that is that is like the main one, dude. That's, yep. That should just all of them should have just said Toothless Kane over and over. And over. <laughs> toothless Kane. Toothless Kane. Toothless, toothless Kane. Kane. Toothless Kane. Toothless Kane. And I found the meatball man. <laughs> <laughs> and also crimes, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, surprisingly no alleged crimes in here. Oh, there was yeah, Kentucky Fried well, I mean, Crimes. There's Kentucky next. Fried Crimes. Well, we don't want to incriminate ourselves. I mean, you know. <laughs> None of us live in Kentucky. Uh, uh, parentheses, uh, Kentucky Fried Crimes, parentheses, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Stabbed over meat, and of course, I found the meatball, man. All right, Alex, as you're our guest, what you got going on? Oh, uh, well, I mean, first of all, I just want to thank everyone for having me on board, taking a chance with some rando. <laughs> and... Uh, Tom specifically for uh, reaching out. No problem, man. Um, but as for... Yeah, well, thank you again. Uh, but uh, as for what I've been up to, uh, honestly, mostly just more Digital Circus stuff. Like, there's more information to come. Just be sort of checking your Twitter, things like that. My Twitter, Ooh. Goose's Twitter, Glitch's Twitter. Uh, uh, what else? Um, there's been a lot of talk recently about, like, while Digital Circus is very popular, um, there's been a lot of bootlegging out there. And, well, I mean, there is obviously an ironic appreciation to some of it. It is genuinely very distressing to Gooseworks that... For all the work and effort that is going out there in the name of Digital Circus, none of that is coming back in monetary form. Copyright is very, very hard to enforce for independent productions. So, mm. to make a long story short, please visit digitalcircus.store 
and support the show yourselves. We've got all sorts of stuff, like we've got a Pomini plush, a Jax plush, we've got a a bunch of clothes, including a Jax themed sweater that has his catchphrase that he absolutely says, you go girl. <laughs> I, 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 I do want to buy that. I, I actually site. want to buy that. That's actually a really awesome one. <laughs> Um, and plenty of other doodads. So, please support the official release is really the best thing I can say about that. Over to you guys. I'm being asked, is there a toothless cane plush? <laughs> Not, <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. There's, 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 a cane, there's a cane pin. I'm sure you could make it toothless. <laughs> Tom, what you got going on? Uh, I'm... Call them this month, finish it February, because a lot of games that I started and didn't finish. So look forward to more Mario Plus Rabbids, Sparks of Hope on my YouTube channel, as well as I'm going to be finishing Fire Emblem Engage. I'm going to be shiny hunting more for um, uh, the, the elusive Pokemon Coliseum Quagsire. One in 8,192 chance. I've got I've done about 600 of attempts and no luck so far. Um, and then I think there was one God other game. You, my child. I, I'm, I'm trying, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning on turning that into a Ribbon Master, so if I happen to get it, they'll be moving on to... Well, still call it Pokemon Coliseum, because I gotta purify the Quagsire, I gotta do Mount Battle, and then I gotta move on to Gen 3 games, so I can do the Pokemon Contests, and the Battle Tower, and all that jazz. It's great. It's gonna be great. Uh, aside from that, though, uh, you could look forward to... I mean, like, so the general, like, multiplayer stuff that I do, uh, regularly, like, Among Us, Lethal Company, um, various other games, Mario Kart, uh, I'm pretty sure there was one other game on stream that I wanted to finish, but I can't remember what it is. So that's all I've got for now. Baldur's Gate 3 was the other one. Thank you. So so many games. Yeah. Um, finish in February. We're, uh, we're still working through Tears of the Kingdom every Friday oh, no. at 8 p.m. Eastern. We're... Uh... It was <laughs> all meatballs. There's just so much... <laughs> So much it's not just do. me. The Jared one is so cursed. <laughs> I hate. I hate that. I don't even know where I made that face, but I will never make it again. Sorry. Continue. Sorry, <laughs> we uh, got distracted. As aside from Zelda on Fridays, we've been playing Moon. Uh, I don't know who knows about Moon, Heck but yeah, Moon, Moon is Moon so is such good. a wild game. Moon is so the uh, the debut from 1997's uh, Love Delic. Uh, a lot of the people that did the Love Delict productions went on to do Punchline and make Tulip, so Moon feels like early Tulip, and Mal and I have been playing that every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, and it's so good. It's it's the most unhinged game I may have ever played. It's wild. It's a really good so. premise, too. Actually, when I was visiting Steven, we went to uh, the Limited Run Games physical store, and I picked up a copy of Moon. Yeah, they have physical copies of it. Yeah, so that's that's Tuesdays at 1, Zelda's Fridays at 8. Otherwise, we're doing breakfast stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Come have a coffee with us. A beep, beep, beep. Jared. Yeah, uh, drumming Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday on uh, Twitch and YouTube, uh, 4.30 Eastern. Did I say that? I don't even know. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, my my plan for this year is to because i know that I've, I've i've basically done this for the past couple of years but i'm like making it a, a a guaranteed thing this year that i'll be releasing a video every day this year um on youtube uh and i've switched it around i've switched around our thumbnails which i want to say once again to everybody who's been watching and uh like enjoying the the videos thank you so much the new thumbnails have been making my videos kind of pop the frick off and like i appreciate the uh the love that they've received um because, yeah, I've been trying to revamp the channel a little bit uh, for this new year, and it's kind of working, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, and, yeah, other than that, just uh, having a good time drumming. That's basically it for me. Not much going on over here. Standard schedule, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays over at twitch.tv slash protonjohn. Uh, we are just kind of messing around with game clearing. Last night we did Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES and Celeste 64. Uh, next week I am debating starting a new game to, to kind of go through, or we might do lightning round where we just do a bunch of games in random succession, try to clear them all if, as I've never beat them before. 
Tomorrow's just a whatever Wednesday with a sponsored segment, so we're just going to play whatever we're in the mood for in the sponsored game. And Saturday's just fortune cookie where chat votes on what we play next. Daniel. Hey. Um, yeah, just the usual. Twitch.tv slash motion Um Yeah, that, that's it. I don't know. I, I still love that when Dan talks, it just, it just it blocks out all the, all the letters on, on Disco <laughs> except for D, A, and N. So creative. It's so perfect. You're welcome. You're welcome. Every, every time you, I man. see that, it makes me smile. Mm-hmm. All right. So I think we're all here for the first Tuesday of March, right? We're going to assume that we're on for usual schedule? Should be. Should uh, be. That is yeah. the fifth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we'll assume we're yeah. on for the for the standard schedule for now. Sure. Uh, let's do our usual outro spiel, shall we? A special thank you to Popsky for our theme song, Prism Shard for our logo, Paper Pennies for the beautiful art in our intro, and our producer's motion, Dan. Alex, thank you so much for joining us today. This was a laugh riot. Th- thank you for having me. This was so much fun. I'm, I'm sorry. Fun. I'm sorry for all the fan art you now have to explain to, <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> Goose and everybody else. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah. <laughs> all right. Catch you Good all fun. next month, everybody. Take it easy. All right. Okay. Now, Alex, this, this is, is the a, part. This- Oh, we're supposed to be quiet. You're supposed, like supposed to be quiet here. here. God damn it! You're supposed to be yeah. quiet, not, but we never really are. To talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they can so. still hear you. Well, no, exactly. actually, yeah. part where you just don't want to say anything, huh? Yeah, so. but we usually we don't. Kinda, just kind of stay real quiet. Should, this, part. Like, yeah. uh, this is this is the segment yeah. where we give John a headache. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh huh. the only segment. Yeah, it's, that's this is the first. <laughs> one. Yeah, the only segment. Yep. <laughs> The only, much much like how uh, much like how uh, Steven is the most grounded out of all of us. This is the only <laughs> segment where we give John a headache. I think Tylenol makes so much money from Disc Only. <laughs> this, this is where I got it from. Yeah. Hashtag not sponsored, but could be. Uh, Allegedly. Bye, everybody. Everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>